Galbi or Korean short ribs are a favorite of mine growing up, and this is my recipe. And yes, it is Galbi. Yeah, I should know, I've heard this most of my life. And the Magrusia, Galbi, not Kalbi. Anyways, this is the recipe. First, we're going to need to make the marinade. But uh, first, we're going to have to talk about the ribs. Uh, I got this from uh, the butcher. We're going to first talk about L.A. style ribs, beef ribs. Uh, L.A. stands for lateral cut. You can also do this with, uh, with uh, flanken style ribs. But uh, this is what we like. As you can see here, I got about five of them. This is enough for one to two people. We're also going to need some green onions, two to three green onions. We're also going to need uh, Asian pears, two medium sized Asian pears. If you can't get Asian pears, a Bosque pear will work as well, or a large Asian pear. We're also going to need going to need some soy sauce. I'm going to use some Korean style soup soy sauce. If you can't get this, you can definitely use just the regular soy sauce. You're also going to need some Asian style sweet syrup, some sesame oil, some black garlic. Can't get black garlic, just regular crushed garlic will work. You're going to have to double the amount of garlic if you're going to use regular crushed garlic though. You're also going to need some crushed ginger yes just some crushed ginger or some regular ginger we're gonna put this all in blender so first we're gonna take and quarter some of this Asian pears can't get Asian pears or even regular Bosque pears which is gonna be weird because pears are everywhere you could use a kiwi if you can't use a kiwi I've seen people use a 7-up you have to use a, like a sweet fruit here but not an apple. Apples will impart a flavor that's not right for this. I, I know 7-Up's a really weird substitute, but trust me, it's 7-Up is a better substitute than an apple. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there and a cup of the uh, soy sauce in there. Go ahead and also peel the black garlic and plop them in here. This is a single clove garlic from Korea. I like the black garlic, it's a little bit sweet. I'm also gonna put in a little bit of this uh, Asian sweet syrup there, Korean sweet syrup. About uh, two tablespoons. One squirt's about a tablespoon. And also a little bit of the uh, ginger, two squirts worth. And a little bit of the sesame oil, just a little bit. Too much will make it a little too strong. Go ahead and blend, get the pears blended a little bit. There we go, and a little bit more of the soy sauce. We want it to be dark in color. Blend it a little bit more there. There we go. We want that dark color. There we go, go ahead and pour that out into a bowl. That's what we want to see. All right. Next, we're going to chop up the uh, green onions pretty fine, but not too fine. I'd say about a quarter inch slices. Go ahead and add that into the bowl. This is gonna be our marinade for the uh, ribs. All right, go ahead and put the ribs in a very large, I'd say a two gallon uh, Ziploc bag. Marinade's gonna be very chunky. Um, we could have blended this, blended this a little bit more fine, but, uh, but chunky's good, chunky's fine. Just go ahead and pour this all on top. Yeah, just pour all of it in there. Yeah. There we go. And we want to seal it, get as much air out as possible. 
so you can seal most of it and start folding the bag in on itself. There we go. Start squeezing it, getting as much coverage as possible. We want every bit of this marinade touching the meat. There we go, squeeze and get all the air out. There we go, that's what we want to see. All right, put this in the fridge for at least two hours, but overnight will be even better. All right, now we're gonna put on some of our black nitrile gloves and we're gonna go ahead and get a pan here. Heat the oven up to 500 degrees, get the broiler on, and let's put the meat on here. If you have a grill, that'll work even better, but I unfortunately live in a third floor apartment and I have a grillless life, so that's why I have to use a preheated oven up to 525 degrees with a broiler. So this is what we have to do. So go ahead and put the meat on a, uh, a foiled pan and scrape up as much of the uh, marinade off as possible and line the uh, and, yeah, just scrape up off all that marinade as much as possible but you'll have good soakage in there so it'll be nice and marinated yep that's what I want to see nice marinated meat onto the pan Now when we uh, broil it, we're going to have to watch it. It's going to take about uh, 6 to 10 minutes to cook. And we're going to have to flip it 4 to 5 times. Make sure it cooks nicely. This is the closest we're going to get inside an apartment to cook it the right way. We want a little bit of char on the edges to get as close as we can to uh, the Galbi experience. There we go. We're going to put this under the broiler and we're going to start flipping. All right, see you in a few minutes. All right, this is what we want to see. Nicely cooked meat. All right, now we're going to get a pair of scissors. This is how we do it. We're going to slice this into individual slices with a piece of bone with each bite. Here we go. Go. Yes, we have to do this with scissors. This is the best way. And there we go. Galbi, or as they put it in the uh, restaurant menu, LA Galbi. And like always, with every Korean meal, we will serve it with the appropriate uh, rice. There we go. And, of course, no cream meals complete without kimchi. Like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more.